Tonight from the private medical documents found blowing in the wind outside Research Hospital. Tonight, Midwest Women's Healthcare Specialist apologize for the lost records. And as our Garrett Hake found out, they may not be the only ones investigating what went wrong. Chelsea? Yes. Hey, I'm Garrett Haig. Hi. Two days after hundreds of patient records were left in a dumpster outside Research Medical Center, 41 Action News returned more of them to women frustrated and fearful about who could have seen their information. What did you think when you heard these things were just floating around? <laughs> Um, it's really unsettling. More than simply unsettling, the dumping of all these documents and countless others without notifying the patients or making them unreadable could constitute a major breach of federal HIPAA law. Today, the Office of Civil Rights for the Health and Human Services Department said they are aware of the incident and could be opening an investigation. Meanwhile, Midwest Women's Healthcare Specialists, the private practice whose name is stamped on each record, apologized today for the first time. We sincerely apologize to Midwest women's health care patients who are affected by this incident, a spokesperson told us over the phone. The spokesperson said Midwest women's had begun reaching out to the women involved. That process will clearly have a long way to go as the investigation reveals just how many patient records were lost. I did try calling um, to see if I could get a hold of mm -hmm. someone, but it was just voicemail after voicemail, so I haven't heard anything. An executive connected with Midwest Women's Healthcare did contact us today to ask about getting the records we received back. For now, we're still waiting to hear what they plan to do with them next and how they'll keep them safe. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.